Hey everybody, uh, my name is Jillian Hamilton. I am part of the team here at South Point Church. And today I'm hoping to share my testimony or uh, kind of like my story with Jesus or how Jesus has changed my life and how he continues to change my life. Um, so I actually grew up in a Christian home, uh, going to church every Sunday, going to Awana, things like that. So I kind of grew up, you know, believing in Jesus. My parents did a great job of laying that foundation of, you know, knowing God and um, loving Jesus and accepting Jesus into your heart and things like that. So I always kind of had Jesus there, you know, but um, I, unfortunately, when I was in middle school, uh, my parents got a divorce and uh, I'd say, you know, around that time, or even a little before, I, we all kind of, the family kind of started to, as you'd say, fall away from the church or um, fall away from Jesus. And that's kind of when I started in my rebellious stages of, you know, just <laughs> doing what I wanted. Uh, just, what do you say, following kind of the wrong crowd. I just, I just wanted to be accepted. Um, I just felt like I wasn't enough. Um, I just want to be accepted. I want people to like me. Um, I was obsessed with that. I just wanted to be validated. So that kind of continued on that lifestyle um, of basically wanting to please people, want to be validated to people. And in college, that's it just started to weigh me down so much. Just this weight, this guilt, this heaviness. I would cry at night. I just was like, what's the point of all this? Uh, you know, and I would, uh, I remember going home uh, on the holidays from college and I actually, you know, we'd actually go to South Point Church and, you know, hearing that you did matter and that you were enough, uh, I had to almost hold back tears because I felt like, I almost felt like I didn't even, wasn't worthy even to go to church. So uh, that was huge for me. And I actually decided, you know, I was like, all right, Lord, you know, I think I'm ready to actually follow you. You know, I'm ready to give up my life for you. You know, I've kind of believed in you, but I've denied you by my lifestyle. And I'm ready to follow you and give up and surrender whatever I need to, to please you, Lord, and not please people because you just, pleasing people is, uh, it, you can't. <laughs> and God, you don't have to do anything, you know, to please him. He loves you where you're at, no matter what. Um, so that was a huge turning point it was my last semester in college. I come, kind of just gave up a lot of things, you know, like drinking and, um, just things that I thought were displeasing to God. Um, you know, and it's still been a journey, uh, and I'm definitely have not been perfect since that, but, uh, just even getting married and having kids, you, I learned so much, um, just about life, about God, uh, how just how loving He is. Um, I've learned a lot about forgiveness. God continues to grow me with hard things, <laughs> hard things. Um, and he does that. He, he grows you with hard times. It might not feel good, but you learn so much and you grow so much. And uh, But I wanted to share kind of a, my favorite Bible verse, which got me through some hard times, was James 1.12, and that is, uh, Blessed is the one who perseveres uh, under trial, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. And it basically says don't give up. You know, this life is hard, and following Jesus is hard, but don't give up. Just keep going, just keep pushing through. Thank you for your time, and I hope you all have a great rest of the day.